Ready? Yeah, ready. Elias. Oh, hello. You, you guys set the tone for tonight with what could arguably be a fight of the night contender. First, Pumped. For, what was it like out there in front of that Liverpool crowd? You guys went to war. Yeah, no, it's, it's always great with, um, you know, uh, coming out to a, a great crowd, uh, gets you excited. Um, obviously, being the first fight, uh, you know, I, I get to kind of proclaim my, my moniker. Obviously, I'm the Spartan, but I'm also the main event, trademark included. So it doesn't matter whether I'm the top of the card or the bottom of the card, the main event. So you have a few stitches there. Yeah. Well, chicks dig scars, and, and luckily, uh, so does my girlfriend. Uh, collectively, I have about 100. I think with this one, I have 100 stitches on my face. How many was it the um, I think uh, they doubled it up, so 10. And that was from the Clash of Heads, obviously? Yeah, yeah, he had read it. He... Were you worried about the cut, perhaps stopping the no, I, I could feel that it was above my head, so uh, I knew it wasn't near my eye. Um, you know, it, it's always a little bit of a shock when there's some blood, uh, and sometimes, you know, it, you, you kind of think, uh, like, a little bit too much, or you kind of react rather than, um, respond rather than react, rather. And, that, and I think a couple of takedowns that I kind of, uh, you know, responded to rather than taking in. And, and in the second fight, the second round, there was either a punch or some type of poke in the eye that kind of, made a little fuzzy on the right side. So, you know, I, I think uh, I, I did enough to win every single round. Um, but the second round, it was uh, a little closer. And part of that is, again, I was responding rather than uh, reacting to myself. Going into the fight, you both uh, were coming off about four or so decisions. Uh, were you expecting it to be a hard fought three rounds? Oh, for sure. Um, he's a, a D1 wrestler. Uh, you know, he has that uh, basis of uh, an athlete and someone that, you know, has a pedigree that I don't have. Uh, I've been a professional mixed martial artist since 2011, but I only started martial arts in any capacity in 2009. So, um, you know, I'm playing catch up. Uh, for instance, the last two opponents I, I, I fought, whether it's uh, Trevor Smith, uh, who's been, you know, competing longer than I've been, you know, probably on this earth. Uh, same thing with Dan Kelly. Uh, you know, as with many professions, there's a difference between a generalist and a specialist. So I fought two back-to-back -back specialists, and I showed, uh, you know, my athleticism I went through. I've never been outstruck in a UFC fight. Have you enjoyed the overall process of fighting here in Liverpool? Would you perhaps like to fight on more European cars down the road? For sure. Um, you know, I, I fell in love with the fighter's journey, uh, and I try to encompass it, whether it's my training or my fighting. Uh, um, my last fight, I was in Australia for the better part of a month and a bit, and uh, you know, um, I'm really lucky because my family, they're very supportive, and you know, they came out with me. Uh, so I went two weeks before, and then another two weeks after, and I saw the whole right side of Australia. Um, this time, I have, you know, I have an open ticket, uh, and as I mentioned, uh, the girlfriend and I, we're just gonna, you know, we're gonna see Manchester, London. We're gonna take a uh, a train out to France. Uh, I'm gonna celebrate my. Um, my 30th birthday in Paris and Versailles, then go uh, go to Amsterdam for a bit, um, Belgium, and if we have enough time on the way back, Iceland to hop on the pond on the way home. Uh, again, I, 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 this is what I kind of love, uh, the, the fighter's journey and just kind of traveling. Um, I, I'm, like I said, I'm very excited to be celebrating my 30th birthday in three days and uh, you know, celebrating my 16th professional win. Were you surprised that, like, about the volume in there? This is the first fight, I know you, and the place seems to be really full already. Did that surprise you? Uh, yes and no, um, especially when you come out to uh, new markets and somewhat quote unquote smaller markets, uh, people are obviously excited. This is the first time uh, you know, uh, UFC has ever been to Liverpool. You have Darren Till at the top of the card, people are proud, people are excited. And uh, you know, it was really exciting to uh, you know, cheer and uh, I'm glad that uh, you know, uh, we set the tone. So the middleweight division is kind of hotter than ever it seems with so many rising stars. What and who's next for the main event? Yeah, no, uh, obviously I'm looking up. Uh, I'm in the top 15, and I, I just want to go up. I, I said it before, I kind of fancy myself the poor man's Machida, and I'd love to take on the real one. First, to step up, but uh, what's it called? Obviously, you want to go up, not down. Yeah. And, uh, you know, uh, again, it, it's, uh, you, it's the case of essentially, you know, you train hard enough, you, you, you compete long enough, and your idols eventually become your competition. Um, he fought someone that was not ranked two fights ago, um, and it makes sense to fight someone that's at least ranked. He's calling out Bisbing, who um, uh, may or may not be retired, and uh, Bisbing's a, a mate of mine, and, you know, he called him out, and I only want to have a beer with Bisbing, so I'm happy to take his spot.
this is your first fight in this year. Uh, how many fights are you planning to go into in 2018? Um, well, again, one of the things is um, I love being a fighter, but I also have a very uh, busy schedule. I have a movie where I am uh, the lead and a producer in. I play an MMA fighter, huge stretch, who gets injured, <laughs> and I reinvent myself in competitive video games. Um, we're in the process. It's called Last Hit. And uh, we already have a director on, attached to it. He's uh, an established director. His name's Gary Haas. He's been the second, uh, a second assistant director to movies like Juno, Interstellar, all the new X-Men movies, all the Planets of the Apes. I think collectively a couple billion dollars that he's been attached to. We have a script. Uh, we have uh, the guy that put the script together. His name's uh, Kyle Francis. Uh, he's real legit. He did all the, um, all the uh, what's her name, Kim Kardashian video games. And now he works for uh, Ubisoft. Um, and he's a legit. Uh, what's it called, uh, writer, and the script's amazing, and we have a lot of uh, already established, uh, really, uh, really established fight game competitors, because it's actually going to be the first fight game and movie ever. It's a comedy. Um, and I think very much dodgeball meets uh, gaming, um, and we're in the process of uh, a very well-known um, uh, gaming title, uh, Street Fighter. But, um, <laughs> so nothing's established yet, but uh, Last Hit is a, um, a working title. But, uh, so that one, if all goes well, we film in mid, mid to late uh, September um, or October. Uh, there's something called the uh, Canadian Cup, which is uh, one of the largest esports uh, events in Canada. So that's where we're going to be putting it. And I think very much dodgeball. So there's going to be like uh, commentators, et cetera, et cetera. It's really exciting. And one of the beautiful things being a producer on it, I get to learn, uh, you know, the back end and how, what it takes to put together a movie. Um, also, I don't know if you guys know this, but I am the inaugural ring boy of Invicta, um, trademark included. And uh, I will be actually coming out with a calendar. I'm going to be a Approaching other MMA fighters. Uh, basically, uh, the calendar is going to be called Ring Boys of MMA, and who wouldn't love to see a Derek Luce of July? <laughs> <laughs> That's right, an MMA biggest beautiful. Uh, you had three other Tristar uh, teammates on this card. What's it been like in the run up to this card? It's obviously very exciting. Uh, we all have a common purpose and goal. Um, it's really exciting to, you know, the atmosphere. Um, TriStar and obviously the other gym I train at, Titans, and then back home it's uh, Rivals, uh, Grant's Rivals. Um, but you know, um, you are the accumulation of those you surround yourself with and luckily I surround myself with great people.